Welcome to Brainwaves. Today, we're taking a look at some of the slowest animals you'll find on land. These creatures often move at a pace that's barely perceptible to the naked eye, and can make you question whether they're even moving at all. So how do these animals manage to survive and thrive in the wild when they can barely get around? Join us as we take a closer look at some of the world's slowest land animals and find out. Sloths are fascinating animals whose slow movements and unique physical characteristics make them stand out from other animals. They are arboreal mammals that are mostly found in the tropical rainforests of Central and South America. One of the most unique physical characteristics of sloths is their long and hooked claws, which they use for gripping tree branches and hanging upside down from trees. They also have specially adapted vertebrae in their neck that allow them to rotate their heads up to 270 degrees, allowing them to scan their surroundings without having to move their bodies. Additionally, sloths have a specialized stomach with multiple chambers that help them break down the tough cellulose found in the leaves they feed on. Sloths possess long, coarse fur that covers their entire body and face. The fur is divided into two different layers, an outer coat of hollow hair and a softer, inner coat. This unique combination of fur provides insulation, helps keep sloths warm, and provides a microhabitat for algae and other microorganisms, which in turn helps camouflage sloths from predators. Despite their unique physical features, sloths have a fairly low body temperature compared to other mammals, and they have a slow metabolism rate that requires them to conserve energy by moving slowly or not at all. Sloths also have a long lifespan, with some individuals living up to 30 years. Sloths are herbivorous animals that feed primarily on leaves, shoots, and fruits. They have a very low metabolic rate and digest their food very slowly. It is believed that a slow metabolic rate is an adaptation to their low energy, leaf-based diet. Sloths are also known for their low feeding frequency, which can be as little as once a week. Sloths have a specialized stomach with multiple chambers that helps them break down the tough cellulose found in the leaves they feed on. They have a somewhat limited diet, as they prefer to feed only on specific types of leaves. They have a unique relationship with the trees they inhabit, in which each species of sloth has a preference for specific trees, and the trees have adapted to be eaten by the sloths. In addition to leaves, sloths also feed on small twigs, buds, and fruits. Sloths have a very low water intake, as they mostly obtain their water from the food they consume. Their low drinking frequency can be attributed to the fact that they are able to conserve water by reabsorbing it from their bladder. To expel the waste, sloths will descend to the forest floor, dig a small hole, and then defecate and urinate together in the hole. This behavior can also help to fertilize the tree the sloth has descended from. Unfortunately, sloths face threats from human activities and are considered to be endangered or at risk of going extinct in their natural habitats. Their primary threats include habitat loss due to deforestation, hunting and poaching, and electrocution from power lines running through their habitats. Deforestation is the most significant driver of habitat loss for sloths, particularly from the expansion of agriculture and urbanization. The loss of trees and vegetation also means that the sloths lose their source of food and shelter. Hunting and poaching for meat, fur, and the exotic pet trade poses a significant threat to sloths, particularly in countries like Brazil and Venezuela. Electrocution is another major threat to sloths, as the power lines erected through the forest can be a trap for their tree-dwelling lifestyle. Sloths are naturally slow-moving and rely on their claws to move around, which means that they may get stuck on the wires and suffer fatal injuries. To mitigate these threats, several conservation efforts have been put in place for the protection of sloths. These efforts include the creation of protected areas and sanctuaries to safeguard sloth habitats, education and awareness raising campaigns, and research projects to better understand their behavior and ecology. As individuals, we can also help sloths by supporting conservation organizations, avoiding products that contribute to deforestation and habitat loss, and spreading awareness about the importance of protecting sloths and their habitats. Snails are a type of gastropod mollusk, which means they're characterized by their soft bodies and single, flexible foot. They're found all over the world in a variety of habitats, from deserts to forests to oceans. 
Snails are known for their slow movement, which is due to the way they move. They have a muscular foot that glides over a layer of mucus they secrete, which helps them move and protects them from injury. Most snails are herbivorous, which means they eat plants or algae, but some are omnivorous or carnivorous. They have teeth made of chitin, a type of strong, flexible material, that allows them to scrape and grind their food. Snails reproduce sexually, and after mating, they lay eggs in moist soil or vegetation. Baby snails hatch from these eggs and look like miniature versions of their parents, except they don't have fully formed shells yet. It takes several weeks or months for these snails to grow and develop their shells. Snails have a variety of physical characteristics that distinguish them from other animals. They have a soft, slimy body that's protected by a hard shell. The shell is made of calcium carbonate and grows as the snail grows. The shape and color of the shell can vary widely depending on the species, and some snails even have patterns on their shells that help them blend in with their surroundings. Snails have a single, retractable tentacle that houses their eyes, and a second tentacle that they use to sense their environment. They also have a mouth and a radula, which is a tongue-like organ with small, sharp teeth that they use to grind up their food. Snails are hermaphrodites, meaning they have both male and female reproductive organs, and can either self-fertilize or mate with another snail. They lay their eggs in soil or vegetation, and some species even have the ability to store sperm for future use. Snails have unique lifestyle and behavior patterns, which vary depending on the species and their environment. Many snails are nocturnal and spend most of the day hiding in cool, moist places to avoid drying out. At night, they come out to forage for food and mates. Other snails are diurnal and are active during the day. Snails have a homing instinct and can find their way back to their hiding places after foraging. Some species are migratory and will travel long distances in search of food or to find a new habitat. Snails are known for their slow movement, which makes them vulnerable to predators such as birds and other animals. To protect themselves, some species have evolved to blend in with their surroundings or to have a tough shell that's difficult to break. Some species of snails have even developed the ability to detach their tails or shells when under attack as a survival mechanism. Finally, snails play an important role in their ecosystems as decomposers and as a food source for other animals. Giant tortoises are one of the largest tortoise species in the world. They can weigh over 900 pounds and grow up to 4 feet long. Their shells are dome-shaped and vary in color from dark brown to gray. The top of their shell is called the carapace and the bottom is called the plastron. The giant tortoise has a small head, but their neck is quite long, which enables them to reach food on the ground without having to move their entire body. This species has a lifespan of more than 100 years and their shell grows with them all the way through their life. The shape and size of their shell varies depending on their environment and diet, so it can be used to determine its home range and what it eats. Giant tortoises are generally found on islands and in forested or grassy areas, especially on volcanic slopes. They can be found in the Galapagos Islands near Ecuador, the Aldabra Atoll in the Indian Ocean and Madagascar. The habitat of the tortoise plays a significant role in its diet. Giant tortoises are herbivores and eat plants such as grasses, leaves, and fruits. The Aldabra tortoise, in particular, feeds on seagrasses that grow in calm, shallow waters. The tortoises have a low metabolic rate, so they can go months without food or water, allowing them to survive in environments where food and water can be scarce. In the wild, they play a crucial role in seed dispersal and contribute to the growth of vegetation in their habitat. Giant tortoises are classified as vulnerable or endangered species, depending on the species and the location where they live. The populations of the giant tortoise declined significantly due to overhunting by humans in the 19th and 20th centuries, habitat destruction, and the introduction of non-native animals to their environment. In some regions, however, conservation efforts have helped to increase the population of these tortoises. The Galapagos giant tortoise has benefited from the creation of the Galapagos National Park and the implementation of programs to reduce the impact of non-native species. Similarly, the Aldabra giant tortoise has been protected from hunting and habitat destruction by the creation of the Aldabra Atoll Special Reserve. 
Although conservation efforts have helped, some species of the giant tortoise are still at risk of extinction due to human activities such as poaching and habitat destruction. Therefore, it is crucial to continue the conservation efforts to preserve and protect these amazing creatures for future generations. The star-nosed mole is a small mammal found in wet lowland areas of eastern North America. These creatures have some unique physical characteristics that make them stand out. They have a pointed snout at the end of their face that is surrounded by 22 tentacle-like appendages, which are used for locating food. They also have seven pink fleshy star-shaped pads on their nose that have over 25,000 sensory receptors. These receptors can process information about food within milliseconds. The star-nosed mole is not a large animal, only measuring up to 20 centimeters in length, and they have a velvety black to dark brown fur. They can weigh up to 50 grams, with males being slightly larger than females. Their eyes are tiny and are not useful in their underground habitats. Instead, they use their sensitive sense of smell and touch to navigate. What's fascinating about this animal is that they can eat prey as large as themselves in just seconds, thanks to their high-speed detection system. Fortunately for us, they mostly dine on insects and invertebrates they find in the damp soil. The star-nosed mole is a semi-aquatic creature found in lowland wet areas of eastern North America, such as the wetlands, swamps, bogs, and marshes. They create underground tunnels with their powerful limbs that can go up to three feet deep in the soil. These tunnels act as their habitat where they can rest, breed, and feed. They choose to live in damp and marshy areas as it provides them with easy access to their primary food source, which is invertebrates. The star-nosed mole is not a seasonal creature, so they can be found throughout the year where it is habitable. They are active in both day and night and are known to be solitary creatures except during the breeding season. Their diet consists mostly of insects such as earthworms, small invertebrates, spiders, and snails. They can sniff out their prey from underground, and within 230 milliseconds, their tentacle-like snout can detect an insect or prey, which they rapidly dig out from the soil with their strong clawed paws. The star-nosed mole has some unique behavioral characteristics and abilities. They are known to be solitary creatures, only interacting with one another during the mating season. They have poor eyesight and rely solely on their highly developed sense of smell and touch to navigate and hunt in their underground habitat. They also have a high metabolism rate and require large quantities of food to maintain their energy level. They are extremely agile, and their ability to tunnel into the soil allows them to move quickly through their environment. Their fur coat is waterproof, which keeps them dry in their aquatic habitat. A fascinating ability that star-nosed moles possess is their ability to hold their breath for up to 10 seconds when submerged in water, thanks to their special hemoglobin in their blood. This ability allows them to move easily through water in pursuit of prey. Similarly, they have a very high pain threshold, which allows them to hunt in freezing water temperatures without hindrance. The star-nosed mole is a unique creature with amazing abilities that allow it to thrive in its wetland habitat. The three-toed sloth, as its name suggests, has three toes on each foot. However, it is interesting to note that, in spite of having three toes, it only has two fingers on each hand. The fingers and toes of a three-toed sloth are tipped with sharp claws, which help them to easily grip and hold onto tree branches, sometimes even while asleep. The three-toed sloth has a round head and a short snout, with tiny ears that are barely visible. The eyes of a three-toed sloth are relatively large, and located on either side of the head, with a binocular vision that helps them judge distances accurately. They have grayish to brownish-green fur, with the coloration varying based on the amount of algae and other organisms growing on it. The fur of three-toed sloths also contains grooves that provide a comfortable place for the algae and other organisms to grow in a mutually beneficial way. Three-toed sloths have small, stubby tails that are less than three inches long. The three-toed sloth primarily inhabits the rainforest regions of Central and South America, specifically the countries of Panama, Costa Rica, Brazil, and Peru. These sloths are arboreal, which means they spend most of their time in trees. They are found in a variety of forest habitats, including tropical and cloud forests. 
Three-toed sloths largely rely on their ability to camouflage themselves within the forest environment, making reference to their subtle fur coloring and slow movements, which allow them to evade predators like jaguars and eagles. Three-toed sloths have a slow metabolism and spend most of their lives hanging upside down from tree branches. They are able to easily grip the branches of trees with their sharp claws, thanks to a specialized joint structure that allows for their limbs to lock in position, even during sleep. Three-toed sloths are mostly solitary creatures, and require a substantial space of around 1.5 to 17 hectares to fulfill their nutritional and shelter needs. The three-toed sloth is famously known for its slow movements. They are the slowest moving of all land animals, with a top speed of about 0.15 miles per hour, which makes it easy for them to go unnoticed by predators. In order to conserve energy, Sloths have a slow metabolism and move only when absolutely necessary. In fact, they sleep for up to 15 hours per day. Three-toed sloths are primarily active at night, which helps them to avoid the heat during the day. As herbivorous animals, they primarily feed on leaves, shoots, buds, and fruits. They have a special stomach that allows them to digest tough leaves more effectively, but this also means that they have a relatively low nutritional requirement. Sloths are known to descend to the ground once a week, to defecate and urinate. This behavior leaves them vulnerable to predators, but they have special circumstances to help them with this, including a strong grip to climb back to safety. Three-toed sloths also have a unique way of communicating which includes high-pitched screams and clicks that are used to attract mates or defend territory. And that's a wrap on our look at the world's slowest land animals. While these creatures may not be the fastest, they have their own unique adaptations and behaviors that make them well-suited for their environments. From the slow-moving sloths that conserve energy by limiting their movement, to the tortoises that have tough shells for protection, each of these animals has found their own way to thrive in the wild. We hope you enjoyed learning more about these fascinating creatures with us today. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay tuned for more fun and informative videos from Brainwaves.